Hello Dino Kids. I'm here today at in the front of St. Paul Church and there's this beautiful burning bush is what we call it because the leaves turn all red in the fall. When you're outside or maybe even in your own yard you'll see a bush like this and this one is right by the front doors of St. Paul. We're uh, out by the in the courtyard. It's a beautiful beautiful bush. And I thought it would be a good time, place, uh, to talk about Moses today. Uh, Moses is known as one of the great prophets of the Hebrew people, our ancestors in faith, way, way, way back, thousands of years ago. And he was out tending to his father's sheep and goats, and he heard this uh, voice of God coming out of this burning bush. So be as though this bush here was on fire, but it wasn't being burned up. There were no ashes or glowing embers, just this flames coming out of the bush. Very, very odd. So he approached the bush and he heard the voice of God asking Moses to be the person who would free his people from the Egyptians. And so Moses wasn't quite sure about this, why God would choose him, why he would be the person to do it. But then he heard the voice of God saying, Moses, I need for you to be my mouth and my ears and my hands to go to the Pharaoh and say, let my people go, set my people free. And Moses still wasn't too sure about all of this, but God told him, uh, gave him the knowledge and the courage to go and did, do what he needed to do. Now, Moses didn't know the whole plan of God to begin with. He just knew one step at a time, one day, something would happen, God would give him instructions, and then he'd go out to do uh, that one thing. And that's how it is with God and us today. We don't always know everything that we're supposed to do for our whole lives or even for the whole week, but we listen for God's voice to be God's hands, be God's mouth, um, speak kindly to other people, and do kind actions so that other people can be free to do and to live as God would desire for them. So that's all for now, but uh, look up in Exodus chapter 3 and 4 and you'll be able to read the story of Moses and know more about him. All right, see you later. Hello Dino Kids, it's Warren again with another song from when I was in Bible school. This is called Give Me Oil in My Lamp. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep it burning. Keep it burning till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me praising. Keep me praising till the break of day. Give me peace in my heart, keep me loving. Give me peace in my heart, I pray. Give me peace in my heart, keep me loving. Keep me loving till the break of day. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. different kind of prayer today, instead of sitting, I'm actually walking with a cabra. And on 
in the labyrinth, we can quiet ourselves and look at prey, just like when we're sitting down. This is a special place that you come when you want to listen to prayer and you want to talk to God. You quiet down and you can keep your eyes open so you can follow this path. See the path is grassy. And then there are bricks that line the path so we know where to go. This labyrinth is actually at First United Methodist Church over on Cass Street near 72nd. Also right by Lewis and Clark Middle School. So you can come here anytime and pray with your family or if they just want to sit, you can pray by yourself and just walk the path. So as we walk, let's take a deep breath. We are reminded of God's love. God loves you very much. Breathe in God's love and breathe out God's peace. May God's peace be with you. May God's peace be with you in your struggles. Anytime you are afraid, anytime you feel alone, know that God's presence is with you. Jesus lives right there in your heart. God, thank you for each one of these children. Thank you for the kindness that they bring to the world for the love that they have for you and the love they have for other people. Help them to know what they can do to bring more kindness and love into the world. And I pray that here of the labyrinth and I'm just going to pause for a minute and say thank you God for being with us. Thank you for your love and for each of you children remember that we love you and God loves you and you are a very good person. See you later.